All right, GG's, my friend. GG's. Let me run you over. What's up and welcome everybody to a new Murders at Carl of Manor standard video. And in this video, it's time to look at our beloved Simic cookies again. This deck is my favorite deck in standard. It's my go-to deck if I need to like climb the ranks and the win rate that I get with this deck is still incredible. And that's not just the case for me because I have a really <laughs> cool screenshot here from the DGA zone where they collect data over like the standard meta game. And look at that. All the way at the top, Simic Artifact, 61.5% win rate, um, better than any other deck in the meta. So Cookies literally is on top. Um, but I made a few changes to this deck to uh, improve my win rate even further and basically uh, tweak it a little bit so that it feels even better in the current meta. And um, it kind of worked out. So today's session, I went 10 and 1. There's one game missing here that's in like the, the previous version still. But um, yeah, Cookie's still doing it. So let's go over the changes that I've made to the deck. So one of the uh, the things that helps a lot in the current meta, and I already feel like Cookie's is favored, pretty much like favored by quite a bit against Teamer Control. But with these two Soul Guide Lanterns in the sideboard, more so than ever, Cookie's just uh, kind of destroys Teamer. Like I, I don't drop games against them, especially still because the sideboard also has the Repulsive Mutations. We still have the Tishana's Tidebinders in the sideboard as well, which is really good against like Aftermath Analysts and like Nissa and all that stuff too. The deck just uh, feels incredible against that. Another thing that really has helped Cookie's win rate is that probably one of the most difficult decks to beat, which was Boros Convoke. Like I felt like that matchup was either 50-50 or more like 45-55 for Convoke. Yeah, Convoke is kind of falling out of favor a little bit because everybody's hating on it so hard. So that allowed me to also uh, take out the third Haywire Might out of the sideboard and add a Pick Your Poison, which helps a little bit more against Domain that's showing up more now and uh, is a little bit more, more flexible. And I've quite liked that one copy of Pick Your Poison in the sideboard. On top of that, if you want more like sideboard help when it comes to cookies or other cookie information, you can find it on my Patreon. Very soon, I'll be uploading a new post about how Outlaws of Thunder Junction could impact cookies. So stay tuned for that, and um, especially when Outlaws drops, I'll be testing out a bunch of cards and seeing uh, what could make the deck better or what could make the deck worse. One thing is for sure, when Botanical Sanctum finally arrives, we will have good mana. Because um, that was one of the things that made Cookies a little bit like questionable at times. But um, once we get the Fastlands, we are going to be unstoppable. So very soon. But for now... Some of the changes that I've made in the main board is there's no longer the blue case in the deck. Um, because I felt like there has also been a decline in control decks or like slower mid-range decks like Rectals and like Golgari mid-range. And that's where the case was like really good. So I've taken those out and I've added a fourth Spike the Siren back into the deck and I added a hard hitting question from the sideboard to the main. So we're playing three hard hitting questions in the main right now and the deck just feels incredible <laughs> yeah if you know you know but uh, the gameplay that i'm about to show you should hopefully convince you that uh, cookies is still one of the best choices to play in the current standard meta and um it's just it's just so much fun to play too like i could play this deck for eight hours a day and be completely happy <laughs> so uh, once again very selfish of me we're gonna watch some cookie gameplay um, don't forget to like and subscribe as well, because very soon we're going to get Thunder Junction Brews coming up live on the channel. Hopefully tomorrow already, some footage from Early Access. And um, yeah, you don't want to miss out. So make sure to subscribe. And for now, let's enjoy some Simic Cookie gameplay. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards, like their incredible Katana Sleeves, which are my absolute favorite for saving up my magic decks. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. If you're interested in getting the best sleeves on the market, make sure to use my link in the description below. Yeah. Believe it or not, they made the right choice. Kinda. Oh my god, it's just like, you guys are everywhere, like, get... <laughs> become a little bit original or some shit. I don't know.
Everybody is just on teamer rage. Do we like really not have like a strong deck to hate them out? Like, is that really where we're at? I guess I set up subterranean schooner. Let me see. Is there anything that won standard leagues? Uh, I think we should try to set up the cauldron like as fast as we can right now. Probably start exiling some of their lands. I mean, at least there's like things that you can do against Steamer Rage. Just play some like Graveyard Hate, some counter spells. You should be all right, kind of. play rest in peace yeah rest in peace hopefully will do a lot of work too preliminary teamer control teamer control teamer control yeah yeah that's the thing like i'm okay, like I, i'm all right playing against it like every now and then but um i do be getting a little bit exhausting uh sometimes oh they just have two lands from hand all right Probably supposed to set up Surge Engine here, I think. No, I don't think I'm going to need that right now. Definitely didn't need to land either, though. see what deck is gonna play rip over her lantern um it's much easier so the teamer deck has a lot of artifact removal and rest in peace is not an artifact so a lot of de like decks that can will if i'm playing white and playing rest in peace over hers and lantern for sure for sure like I'll see if I can get the teething room out of range. I mean, I want to say X for doubt, but you know, they probably have a virtue, I imagine. Oh, wait, they don't. Oh, ho, ho. hey, yo, hey, yo, we're good. The teething rumor that could strongest one drop around. That's how you fucking do it. Hell yeah. Favorite Twin Peaks character. Oof, like gotta be Audrey for me though. I mean, I, I you know, I stand the shit out of Laura Palmer, but it's gotta be Audrey. <laughs> it's true. It's gotta be Audrey. Like she is just a fantastic character. Yeah. Ar yeah, Ar Arnold Palmer. Yeah, no, I love her. Mm. Okay, I don't think we can take out these guys. They got a cookie. Really hope that would help us all get lanterns, not the log lady. <laughs> not necessarily. 
she, I think she's a queen, but... I do have an Envil deck, um, but with uh, Thunder Junction, I experimented a little bit, but I didn't really find something that felt good necessarily, so... Um... Oh jeez, these hands are horrible! Like, that's not good! I guess we got a cauldron in here, uh, maybe. Is the, Net is the Netherlands nice? Wanted to explore the country for some time now. Um... <laughs> depends on where you're from, I guess? I think that really depends where you're from. Like, I don't think the nature that we have here is necessarily, like, incredible or anything. I think there's, like, much more impressive scenes in other places. Yeah, and there's not a whole lot. Like, if you're from, like, America or something and, like... Yeah, you wouldn't be impressed by, like, the, the nature or whatever in, in Europe. The only thing you get in Europe is that's like worth exploring, in my opinion, is history. That's what you have. I would go for that. For sure. Architecture, sure. Like, if that's your thing, sure. Yeah, the history in Europe is like pretty rich. Good museums and stuff. Set up glyph, but um, Audrey Steam, like that's a top 10 of all time. It's true, it's true, a hundred percent true. Mm, I could set up Wormlet here. I kind of feel like I will I think because then I get the Sentinel buff too. Right, I live in Europe and in the US. I mean, I think both countries have their upsides and downsides. Okay. Yeah, I mean, America, you guys have like. The accessibility of everything in America is just like... That's one thing, especially in the Netherlands, like... Something that truly, um, stands out. Like, a lot of things are just, like, convenient. And, like, also very often a lot of things are not, like, old as fuck. <laughs> Like, super old. Okay, so the Soul Guide Lantern is going to be putting into work here, I hope. Okay. Infrastructure is garbage, but I think if you compare it to like certain European countries, you'll realize that like <laughs> it might not be that garbage. I just gotta make sure like I timed this right. Yeah, cer certain countries in Western Europe, I mean. Not the UK, I um, <laughs> guess that doesn't, depending on, you know, but yeah, certain also not, so. Okay, so they're booking Aftermath Analysts, so they've kind of like given up on the Soul Guide Lantern, interesting.
I'm just gonna keep buffing everything up, you know? Just gotta make sure I hold up some mana, though. So I can pop the Soul Guide Lantern if I need to. I'm not interested in that, necessarily. Oh yeah, I fucking read that. That's crazy. We also have Restless Vine Stalk soon, Tian. No, but in case, like, I want to draw a card of it, which extra doubt, but, like, giving myself the option. Alright, go ahead, I guess. Hello, Ash Lizzle. I have a question about plot mechanic. During early access, opponent could show the plotted card, right? Is that normal? When it says exit only, you can see it or misunderstand the mechanic. Hey, yo, we got a new VIP, Discord VIP. All right, Bessie, let me write your name down. Send me a DM on Discord and I can, uh, I can hook you up. Okay. Yeah, pl plotting is face up. Face up exile. Now run him over, guys. Run him over. Magic exit the cards are always known in info unless stated otherwise. You. Yeah. Bugging during the event. All right. Well, am I not swinging for 14 here? Still? We're just fucking up these steamer gamers. Like, it's, it's, it is satisfying. It is satisfying. <laughs> it is very satisfying. Yeah. Which current standard do you think gets the biggest boost with Outlaws? Hmm, that's a good question. That is a really good question. I feel like every white deck gets access to a, a lot of really good counters or like uh, sideboard cards. But I feel like Thunder Junction is just gonna like make some powerful decks like emerge. Um, another thing that I... Another thing that I like noticed is that like the crime cards in general are just going to be really good because there are literally nearly every deck in standard is capable of committing a lot of crimes on like accident, not even like purposely. And like there's a lot of cards that would just like naturally benefit of that. Like I could see Marchesa like fully pop up in like a Grixis mid-range deck that doesn't even care about like having a bunch of crime synergy in there, but it just like works naturally. All right, we're back against Teamer now. Um, there's definitely going to be like an Izzet Prowess deck, uh, with the, the Slick Shot. That card is 100% going to see a lot of play. And whether or not that's like Izzet, Teamer, or Mono Red, we don't know, but it could be all three of them. I feel like there's more going to be, rather than like adding towards already existing archetypes, I feel like new strong decks are going to emerge, which is probably like the best thing that could happen. And there will be some like pickups, like I think, I think Golgari... Um, I think Golgari is probably going to pick up, like, the Gitrock monster at the top end a few copies, maybe. Like, the card is just very strong. Um, Esper is going to pick up a few, like, good sideboard cards. Maybe some, like, crime cards, too, if they want it. So, that's kind of, like, what you got to, like, into a little bit. Like, white decks will also have Aven Interrupter. We didn't really see that that much, but... Yeah. That will also be a thing. Yeah, you're gonna like stop my 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 team for a bit and I'm not here for it, bestie. Yeah, I mean it's like I need to um, I tried looking at set from like that perspective, but it's always so hard to say anything about that, you know. You wanna play the new green three drop? Yeah, like uh, there could definitely be a good chance of like a ramp deck emerging because that card is just ridiculously good. 
So, you know, <laughs> opening joke. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard, but I think there will definitely be a lot of a lot of playable um, cards from uh, Thunder Junction. Shreddy gets a lethal point of damage with a land drop and get roped for it. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds about right. All right, GG's, my friend. GG's. Let me run you over. Yeah, a very, very much a brewer set. There's there's no way that a crime deck doesn't become like tier two or like maybe even tier one though. Dragons? I wanted to try dragons too. Like I had so many more brews in mind and then they cut us off. Like <laughs> I was ready to go for, you know, much longer. So many decks that I had to explore and like just didn't get a chance. Uh, maybe this gets me somewhere. It looks okay. No oh, graveyard hate, but a nice repulsive mutation and a nice schooner. I like a few other animations really popping too. Which ones? Oh, maybe? Crime was the one with like the vibrant like blue, like, or bl blue. The vibrant like crimson, like red type of thing, like super like bright red. It's one that I noticed too. Because then again, that was when it was on the stack, so, mm, you know. They're ramping fast as hell. I guess I'll like try to go after the grave a little bit as much as I can. Yeah, I mean, you get used to it eventually, right? Like, Get another Nissa or something. Come on now. Whiff, whiff, whiff. Um, analyst. Looking they grabbed red though. Yo, Kindrel, thank you so much for the four months. I appreciate you. Why did they grab red? Trying to like abrade something? They are nasty. see what we can do here people get surprised by reaches into their fault for not reading the cards yes <laughs> of course of course which is why it's so like weird to people it's like we really have to like hold people's hands so much so that we need to like put a giant bow on creatures with reach now was kind of the vibe all right i guess i'll try to slip kellen here I would love to find a land here. Honestly, yeah, let me grab that Soul Guide Lantern. That puts a lot of pressure on them anyway. Quite like that.
I'm gonna feel a lot of pressure now to like try to put, play the Afterwrath Analyst and pop it before I get my Soul Guide, and we should be able to tide bind it then. I hope. I hope, I hope. Okay. The new cards are cookies? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not really, like, not sure. Maybe, yeah, obviously Bot Botanical Sanctum. Maybe, like, that artifact that I, uh... Definitely don't pronounce right. Um, the one mana one from Big Score. And... Yeah. Another raid, yo! Thank you, I appreciate it. And yeah, maybe the... Maybe, like, the four mana creature from Big Score as well with the foods, but I doubt it. That, like, one mana artifact is probably, like, our best bet at maybe an addition for cookies, but... Kellen again? Damn, I was just... I was, like, genuinely convinced that they were going to try to... Try to pop the Aftermath Analyst now. Analyst now. Like, I was truly thinking that that's what they would do, but... I guess not, then. I'd imagine. They sense that the Shana, I guess maybe, but they also know there's a soul guide on the way, so it's like... Um, thinking this is where I play out Sentinel. Probably? I'm holding up soul guide lantern, so... Yeah, they're, they're definitely going to try to play to blow up Schooner, like, with a Gallon attack, which is fine. I mean, if they try to target a Soul Guy Lantern, I'll literally just exile and resume, so... Yeah, they went after that. All right. Damn, I was really thinking they would go after the schooner. Okay. Oh, I guess we'll see what we can do. Not sure. Gonna hit by like in a braid now. Mm. It's like one off Kellen is really doing it to me. <laughs> um, really is doing it to me. Russia I'd like to work on YouTube. Hey, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mm, 
Okay. Person's like played it so weird. I'm just not really sure what to expect of this anymore. This is so weird. Um, I don't know. Just like they're just like not trying to like play out their strategy. Maybe they know I. I don't know. I like guess, I guess, but mm. anyway. We can have another banger up in here. This is a wop. Late night MTG. <laughs> yup. I don't think there's like a lot of people playing. Dude, this is fucked up. Can I stop this somehow? Can I like stop the land trigger? I think I can, no? They're just gonna remove everything of mine. Actually losing the Kellen? The one-off Kellen in deck? Losing to the one-off Kellen. I can't. Alright, I'm just gonna tide bind Kellen and get out of here. I just swing for two four fours. I mean, I'm holding tight binder, right? Like, I'm holding tight binder because they still have like Shigeki to do some stuff with. Like, if I play it safe, I think I'll be all right always. Playing the deck in like such a defensive like way, it's kind of like throwing me off a bit. Like it literally hit me with a Wolzel Rage that grabbed like one land. I mean, I exiled the rest, so it's like, you know. Yeah, they're gonna try to do something with Shigeki. Virtue of strength. All right. Well, <laughs> well. All right. So what happens here? So if Shigeki gets bounced, um, I need to just figure out if I can have enough power on the board here. Like, do I play type? I know I remove Kellen. And then Tishana gets blocked, which is five power. Um, then I put this in play. I kind of have to play Tishana out here, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Like, I think if we remove Kellen and animate, we win, so... Like, I, I don't know what Shigeki could do for him, but... Oh, Shigeki's scary. She, they, could, they could top deck, like, they have to top deck, right? They have to top deck here.
what it could be, I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know. Don't tilt deck it. I swear to God, don't do it. <laughs> okay, great. I think like, if they had an Abray, they would be alive, I think. <sighs> well, we're against Gandalf. Well, this could only mean one thing. <laughs> Gandalf. Oh, I think they were Boros Convoke, actually. Hmm. Yeah. I'm still gonna like stay gaming, I guess, but yeah, I do think they're on Convoke. Gandalf the Great with a Gandalf Avatar, but the sea's kind of give him away. <laughs> Oh wait, this is something different. What are they? The mystery continues. Do 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 do. Something something Naya. That's not something you see often. Naya control. Yeah, would that really be a thing? I mean, I guess so. Agatha's Cauldron. Is that what I'm looking for right now? If they're playing Control, not really. Hold Besaju for weddings, maybe? Like, maybe, yeah, maybe their casino? mind having lands i guess i can try to like put the one of the maps on the schooner yeah yeah the mana type you, you gotta be careful yeah <laughs> you never know okay wait there is a questing druid all right let him cook wait this is a pia deck it's probably pia it's naya pia i think It's weird though. They haven't really done anything. <laughs> Bessie is just existing. I'm just flooding to death right now. <laughs> Yikes. Um... Lars Pia. New Mirex, I guess. Mm. 
Just like sorting some stuff out for this like special thing that I have planned that I can talk to you guys about. <laughs> um Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It's exciting, but See if I can make this work. I don't know. Like, I have no idea what this person is going to do. I don't know. I mean, it's never bad, I guess. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this might be like a lightning helix or something, but I can still besage you, Pia. Is there a deck you recommend for qualifier? Give me your mid range. Cookies if you are like a believer. <laughs> Cookies if you believe. Besage you. Like, you could never go wrong with the mere mid range, I think, at this point in time. Like, the deck's just very good, so. Astro mid range, still very strong. Teamer lands will be a lot of mirrors, but. And people will be prepared for you, but still good. Same with Bro School Invoke. You will get mirrors and people will be prepared, but not bad ever, you know, so. One life, but at least I have like ginger brute on the way soon as well with the uh unblockable vibes. Let's play this banger. Domain. Mm, I don't know. I feel like domain has fallen out of favor. Uh more so lately. Hey, we get him. Pia, top 160. I'm gagged. Like, what the hell is Pia doing in the top 160 of standard? <laughs> That's crazy. Um, one lander. Not a bad one, but not keepable. Alright then. Yeah, we, we committed too many crimes. We got kicked. Happens to the best of us. Committing crimes is like the easiest thing ever. It's going to be like quite fr like frustrating to keep track of in paper, I think, though. Maybe. All right, search engine. The little engine that could. Vampire Vengeance in a Pia deck. You're a brave soul. <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm just going to hit him with a Zoetic Glyph. There we go. Do I have anything? I do have a search engine. Now hold it. First of all, I'm going to deal with Pia because fuck Pia. And then we're going <laughs> to... I don't know. Like, I'm just shocked to see this gamer do so good with Pia in like the top 150. Like, what are they? They've clearly figured out how to build the deck right. Just super impressive, to be honest. Like, I have respect. Vadmir and Tiny Bones Enchantment carried a few games. Vadmir was gas. Like, I was really impressed. I was really impressed. Mm. 
Mm. You have a trainer. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what we now have to do is we got to grab surge engine and we got to put it on the glyph. Yes, yes. That should get us close. Well, actually, it could win us the game. If this hits and the opponent doesn't have removal, that is. Now the question is, do they? Map map chances? Map RNG? Well, it depends on whether or not they can get rid of like the Zoetic Lift. Kinda. Please don't. <laughs> Damn it, man. Uh, yep. Destroy evil, I guess. Mm. I was about to say, like, I kind of want to hit a banger here. I'm okay with Surge Engine. I could still, like, remove the Questing Druid. I can, I can be at peace with that. A cracked map. Yeah. <laughs> We find another sweater glyph, like this map is looking spicy. They're not blowing up the map. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they uh they made that choice. I hope it backfires on them somehow, somewhere. Okay. That's unfortunate, dude. Three power, huh? Lord, this is going to be a while. Another glyph, and <laughs> they would have gone hard. And look who decides to show up. Very, very late to the party. Very, very late to the party. I don't know. And tap working should be, should be. Yo, chef, we're uh, we're playing cookies, and this person is drawing so good. Yeah, like I have Pierce up, it's not gonna do shit. Oh, that is so frustrating. If I had more lands, I could just grow the surge engine, but uh, the lands haven't been very kind to me, I'm afraid. Okay. Be looking better, gamers. Opponent absolutely popping off, like... <laughs> oh, brother. You conflict, you love cookies, cookies and Pia, that's very valid. There's, we're like never out of it as long as we have like unblockables in the graveyard, but yeah. Bloodthirsty for replay again. I mean, I could stop that with this, but nah, it's just over. Yeah, maybe like opponent just made some like deal with the devil or like deal with Pia and it's like working out for them greatly because <laughs> Pia does not pop off for me like that. I want to know their secrets. Like, what are you hiding? Why is Pia working for you? And how can we get that same uh, that same energy going for us? Like the the people are jealous over here. Like we gotta we gotta know. It was there one in ten? Nah, surely not. They're like top one sixty. Like the Pia gods are with them one way or another. I'm telling you, Pia favors the brave. Jesus. Cookies? We need to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation right now. Like, these lands, if you gave them to me last game, we would have won. Why are you giving them to me now? Like, I'm not, I'm not liking your attitude right now, Cookies. I'm gonna be serious. 
I'm be serious here. Like, it's still not very nice. At least Sentinel doesn't get hit by, you know, Vampire Vengeance, which they are playing. Jeez, I mean, guess I'll hit him with the Zoetic Glyph. I'll buff up Ginger Root too. I have so many map tokens. I'm just thriving right now. I'd like some removal though, I won't lie. All right, down to 10 they go. They were Botanical Sanctums though? Nah, like, I'm excited for that. I'm hype, I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm hype. Wait, why is my rope? Oh. Pierce, nah. Not anymore, man. Not anymore. Okay. Sure. Mm -mm. We just got him. I don't think there's much he can do. Despite me being like flooded to hell and back, I think we just got him. Cowboy is it? <laughs> I'm so hyped to play with the cards again. I'm like, brew for real. Like, brew in a competitive best of three environment. Please. There we go. 